Hi everyone, welcome back to Red Blossom Tea Channel. Today we're going to do something a little different. We'll talk about the tea subscription that we offer on our website. Last year we started a tea subscription for three months and six months. This month is the first month you'll be getting a box like this. For the first 50 tea subscribers, we have two boxes, one with a tea set, the competition set for you to start brewing, and a box with three teas in it. Each box has three teas individually wrapped in mylar bags and they are resealable. The box also includes a description card and a brewing guide on how to brew each tea. Let's start by brewing each tea. This box has Wenshan Baozong, a lightly oxidized oolong from Pingling area of Taiwan. It has Dongdi Mi Xiang, a bug bitten tea from the high elevations in Alishan mountain range. And we also have a dark tea the Yunnan Gold Thread Reserve. So I will start by using the competition set to brew the Wenshan. Wenshan is a twisted variety from Pingling. It is one of the older style. Instead of rolling the tea leaves, these are twisted. They are a method that's adopted from the Fujian province. It's treated very much like a green tea. So with the lightly oxidized teas, we want to use water that's not quite as hot. The temperature I am using is 195, and I have about a full tablespoon in here. It's a heaping tablespoon because it's very lightweight. After about one minute, you can use this and decant into the server. So the competition set is something I use on my travels. It is also a vessel that is used in many competitions in Taiwan to gauge the quality of the leaves. The lid has a hole in it, so you want to align this hole with this opening here. And once the leaves rehydrate, then we will decant. Wenshan is very much like a green tea. It's light in color, but the flavor is floral and it's very creamy. This is a winter crop, so it's a good starter tea and also one that is extremely easy to brew in cooler weather. During the winter months here, you may want to have water that's a bit hotter. So rather than brewing a green tea, it's nice to be able to brew an oolong that's a little more forgiving. The color of the brew is very much like a green tea. The next tea I'll brew is the Dongdi Mi Xiang. But this time, I'm going to use what I have, and many of you may have a gaiwan at home. If not, you could also try using this. Gaiwan is very traditional. It's what we prefer to use at our retail shop. So I will add about a teaspoon into here now. Because the roll variety is a little bit denser, we use less. Dongli Mi Xiang means honey fragrance comes from Nanto area of Taiwan. It is a bug bitten crop. So with bug bitten crops, it's very interesting because it tastes very much like honey. We can use water that's a little bit hotter because the roll leaves take a little while to unravel. Once they open up, it's releasing its flavor. So I'm going to decant. The color of this deep is a little bit darker because it's 30% oxidized. The darkest of the three in this box is a gold thread. So we'll be brewing that in a traditional yixing. Gold thread is my go-to darker tea in, the, in cold weather. So with the young baby tips, it's really nice to be able to use a vessel that retains heat very well. Yunnan is known for, they're usually known for their poor teas, but Dian Hong is one of the most famous black teas in China as well. The baby tips are harvested in the springtime, so we'll be using a little bit more. It's lighter weight. Because this can withstand heat, we'll use water at 200 Fahrenheit. And this is perfect for the winter cold months. The steep time is much quicker when we're using a yixing because this distributes heat evenly. 
for this particular tea, you can decant a little bit quicker because there's a lot of surface area in the young baby tips. For those of you who are accustomed to having English breakfast or Earl Grey in packages, this tea looks light in color, but it's a little bit richer in flavor because the younger tips are packed with flavors. So when you're brewing it this style, these vessels that I've used are all very small, but we can easily add hot water in a few times to merge all the steeps together and you'll be able to drink it out of a bigger cup. If you're interested in tasting some of these teas, we do have two subscriptions, a three month and a six month. The three month is a good introduction to the teas. Each box will give you enough to make about three weeks supply. The six month will allow you to taste the teas throughout the seasons. If this video is helpful for you, please feel free to also subscribe to our YouTube channel.